Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back on Foolcraft 3. All right, so clearly you can see what the plan of the day is today. We are going to start into some oil refining. I love it. I think it's a great match for our evil empire. You know, it kind of kicks up the notion of, yeah, I'd like to make power, but in the least ecologically friendly way possible. So I've already been uh, looking for oil, and you know what? There's oil right here. Now, unfortunately, this thing doesn't render right, but I think that's just me. But there's seven and a half million millibuckets right here of crude oil. And now I've laid this thing down like three times, and check out number two. This one was gold, and this baby right here is platinum. Yeah, we're going to get an excavator. I can't wait. So what I want to do today is I want to plop down the oil refinery and start pumping and refining oil. We'll make power out of it next time. But I also have a very special thing to show you at the end of the episode on how I could get resources. I think you're going to love it and I think you're going to hate it. So let's jump right into uh, right into this. So let's see over here. These dudes have been cooking away. You know, every once in a while, I just have to come in here and clean this guy out. I probably need to make the advanced version, but I mean, you know, we're making steel. We're doing all right. Oh, and I did kind of place around a lot of the machines, just getting them kind of online, right? Just so I have access to stuff. You know, I don't know. We'll make another machine room or something. I just kind of like all these little buildings. But over here, yeah, right in here, I went ahead and built all of the parts that we're going to need. That way we don't have to sit and craft uh, the whole time. So let me grab my chest transporter and we'll take this dude and check him in the bag. And I think I've got everything I need for a refinery. And I think I'm going to put this dude right over here. Like, I think right like this could be a cool little power generation and then we'll like fence it off, right? Are there any good fence blocks in here? Uh, I was really hoping for, like, electric fence. Uh, what is that stuff from Immersive? Uh, isn't there, isn't there, yeah, right there, razor wire. And, you know, I really would like, uh, like a chain link fence. Yeah, no, there's no chain link. I don't feel like chisel and bedding it. I don't know. If there's a really great, like, high security fence option, because I want to put a, kind of a seawall around here or something. I don't know. I want to really box this place in. So, let me check chunks. It looks like we are in a good one right here. Okay. So, I think uh, let's just set this guy down over here. And boop, right there. I love those one-time use things. All right. So, let's see. I'm going to need the projector right there. And let's go ahead and get our engineer's manual. And no, not a pump jack, but we will need that. Oh, and check this out. Uh, napalm. I don't remember napalm, but I'm suddenly feeling the need to get some. So, and yeah, asphalt concrete, which by the way, I did take a look at the uh, two asphalts, right? Uh, asphalt right here. So there's this one from Immersive Petroleum and there's this one from Tiny Progressions. The texture on this one is really rough. I don't like it. So we're definitely going this way. We've got slag, but I can also do it with sand. And, you know, I just need the bitumen. So not really a big deal. All right. So let's get the distillation tower. Yeah, the monster tower. Nice. And we'll put these dudes together just like that. And now let's go ahead. I guess I can turn. Well, let's get it set down. So. This, let's see, the red block, the engineering block there, I think that's the power. I guess it doesn't much matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's the pipe connections. I actually think this orientation is probably going to be okay. All right, so let's get that off, and let's clear some of this garbage out, right? And I don't know, what are we going to need? This and that and this, and maybe some of those. I think those are the blocks. But we'll go ahead and we'll slap this guy down because I'd really like to start the process today. Right? Right there, here, here, here. Can I, uh, can I center click? No, I can't. All right, so I need... Are you heavy engineering blocks? Oh, I guess you are. All right. You and you, and then, uh, pipe. I got pipe. 
right there. Okay, and you're another piece of pipe. So let's see, redstone engineering blocks. We've got more of those dudes. So let's get our redstone block. Let's see, right there. And then it's gonna be sheet metal arama. Really? It's always gotta rain. Uh, we're gonna fix that too one of these days. All right, so let's just go ahead and build this guy up. And I think you're scaffolding. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 because it's going to make the ladder all the way back. So, uh, let's see, can I get everybody on the hot bar? we got to make a better jetpack, because this going up and down stuff is for the birds. Right? You, 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 you. And like this, and okay. And then this layer is different, right? So this one is all uh, slabs, right? Sheet metal, no, um, what do they call these things? What are you called? Scaffolding, right? So scaffolding slabs. All right, so there, here, there, 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 right? Just get them all the way around. Yeah, just like that. Okay. And let's see, I'm going to need these things. So we're running out of this decking here of the scaffolding. So I think we're about at the final layer. And I saw that red box. I see you. I see you. So you... And then you, 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 right? Is that it? Is this it? It would be it. No, of course not. I was going to say, it would be it if I brought my hammer with me. Right? So right there and right here. And it's a valid structure. It's got the green box. All right. Very cool. Now, do I have a hammer in here? No. Okay. So let's go get the hammer because I got to form that thing. And I guess I can come in here. I really need to make wireless or something. And, you know, we're probably going to try to sleep the night away and make the rain go. Let's see. Yeah, why don't I do that? Uh, give me just a second. I'm going to sleep, see if we can get the rain to stop, and then we'll finish building. All right. Rain is gone. So let's go ahead and make this dude right over here. No idea where to whack it, right? Ah, those things are usually a good choice. Okay. Get that off my hot bar. So let's take a look at this. You are clearly the on-off, and orange is out, and I'm going to guess you are in, right? That should be everybody, and you guys, yeah, oh no, you're in, you're blue. You are blue, okay, and you're out, so you must be where the bitumen comes out, all right, and power tap is right there, okay, cool. So I don't remember how much power this thing takes, but I've got myself a couple of power cells here. And let's see, I need to, is this linked? No, let's, uh, let's link this guy up and we need to make better power transfer, but I want to do it with, uh, you know, with like flex points and we're going to need pearls and stuff like that, but you know, we'll get there. All right. So this dude, you can sit right up there and you've got plenty of power. All right. We'll see how it does. So you are going to take in oil and you're going to output. And here's what I'm thinking. We are going to output to black hole tanks, filtered. I'm also going to want this black hole unit. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, I just want to look at it. I'm pretty sure that you're in, you're out, right? So I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to take this fluid conduit and we'll just come out to a couple of tanks just like this, right? Boop, 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 just like that. And then we should be able to use the filters from Ender I.O., right? So let's see. You're going to be a fluid, and let's do this. What are we going to get out of, It's I think it's crude, right? Crude oil, isn't that what we get, right? Crude, that's forge, immersive petroleum. All right, so, oh, you're not going to tell me your uses? Really? All right. Well, I know we're going to get, is it, is it diesel? Is diesel what we get? Immersive biodiesel. Yeah, right there. All right. So can I, can I do this? Diesel bucket, diesel biodiesel. So can I do this? Do you, oh, you don't have the, uh, you don't have the thing. Ah, see like this, right? Can I do this? Diesel bucket and go boop. No, this isn't the version. Uh, oh, no, it did it. It did it. All right. And then I can put you over here. Oh, that's weird. Then that filter setting came up. All right. So you're diesel. Well, let's try this again. 
Huh, maybe it was there before and I didn't see it. All right, and we're going to get uh, gasoline, right? So filter you for gasoline. Yep, that worked. Okay. It's just faint. It's hard to see. And then we will filter you for lubricant because I am going to need the lubricant. I mean, when don't you need lubricant? All right, so let's see. Right there and you and you, right? I think that's probably a pretty good way to do it. Now, let's take the rest of these parts here, which do not feel like enough parts, but, you know, we'll find out. So let's get these guys. And, all right, we got to come back here, and I'm going to need a pump jack. I swear I've built enough pump jacks that I feel like I could do this with my eyes closed, but I don't want to. All right, so let's go over to this chunk over here and see if we can see a good spot for the pump jack. So let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, right here. All right, so I'm going to pick you up and we'll take this guy because now I've got to go check out the entire world. Uh, no, I want to in. How do I rotate this thing? It is middle click. All right. Yeah, I want it sideways like this so I can watch it go up and down. Uh, so right there will be fine. All right. So let's get this and, I don't know, this stuff maybe? And let's build this. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need pipe. Got to set... Oop, you don't go there. Got to set the pipe in the middle. Where is the pipe? Uh, Pipe? Oh, right here. Okay. Got to put one, two, three, four, right? Just like that. And then the rest of this is scaffolding. I love these pump jacks. They're just fun looking, right? I mean, it's a giant in-world multi-block. All right. And you are some kind of engineering block. I feel like you're light. Yeah, nailed it. All right. And you're the heavy, right? So you're the heavy. And you over here are the redstone. And so let's see. We got some fencetation right here. Fence, fence. And I know more fence goes on top of it. And then what do I need here? Another heavy. All right. And then it's steel blocks. But then this steel block has to be up there, right? Don't I need a... Didn't I need two steel blocks? Oh, you're a steel block right there. Okay. I was like, I could swear that's a thing. And then steel sheet metal right here. All right. And then it's just these fences. Right? So fence and fence. All right. I guess I can turn F9 off. We'll take this out. All right. So where is the wackitation hammer? Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like in between there. Right? I love it. I love that. All right. So we're going to move this stuff around with these ender tanks, right? Black, black, black for crude and diamond because it is a private tank. And let's see. Wait, your input. Oh, your output on both sides. Okay, very cool. And I'm just going to need this power cell. And hopefully we got the power throughput for this. I think we do. But this is why I want a, probably a wall of capacitors. Right, so can I see how you are doing? No. There's no interface? Uh, that's all right. Let's see if we are, we are pumping oil. All right, oil production has begun. Let's go over here and hopefully, hopefully my filtering system here will work. And so blue for input, blue for input. Uh, I don't think you're going to auto input. I think we're probably safest doing something like this, right? And then I don't have to worry about it. And do I have a Yetta? Yes, I do. So, well, that's weird. It thinks it's an ender chest. All right, cool. All right, ender chest. Uh, you can extract, right? Okay, yep, tower is doing its thing. And I don't need to do that, but I always like to, right? And so now you're making diesel and a lot of it. Holy cow! And lubricant. All right. And you guys, and there's the bitumen. Let's see. Diesel's in this tank. Gas is in that tank. Lubricant's over there. Very cool. So I just got to do this. We just got to stuff this guy right here. Now, will you? Yes, you're going to automatically input. I don't know why you say air, right? But that should work, right? Okay. So I, I is this a filter slot? I don't remember that being there, but that should totally work. All right, so let's make sure that this chunk over here is chunk loaded. I guess I don't have to chunk load the old base, 
right? Just like that. All right, cool. We are making stuff. Now, do we have the time? Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. Right? Everybody's got power. Nothing in that guy. All right, so let's make it a little bit better. Let's make it a little better. Where is my friendly one? And let's go make a lubricator and a couple more ender tanks. So let's go right over here. And let's go see if we can get ourselves a lubricator. Right? Automatic lubricator. So it's just glass. Actually, that's super cheap. Holy cow. And do I have enough stuff to make two more ender tanks? I do. Right? And we're going to need some diamonds right here. And uh, I don't know. Lubricant, that's brown. So do I have any cocoa? Right? Cocoa? No. Can I make any kind of brown dot? Ooh, I can. I absolutely can. All right. So let's see. Right there. And then what is that thing? It's a, uh, a pestle and mortar. Right? This right here. And then I should be able to do this. And there we go. I got two floral brown. That should work. So let's put down our ender tanks right there. And we should color them up first. So I guess... I guess center brown will be uh, lubricant. And then I will make them private. All right. And let's take these dudes with us. Ah. And right here. Yep, that'll work. We got fluid conduits on me. All right. Very cool. So we should be able to do this over here. Let's go and output. And you know, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, these conduits are going to be great. Uh, because this stuff should be all filtered, right? So you're lubricant. So if I just set you right there, can I tell uh, right here, what did you already put in you? I can't tell what's in you now. I can't tell what's in there. And does breaking them? No. Ender tank? Yeah, no, you don't tell me what's in you. Oh, man. How could I get this back out? Because I'm not 100% sure what's there. I should have done, uh, let's get a fluid filter. Let's get a fluid filter and probably a nullifier, right? I think that's the right fluid, but let's just be safe. Let's be safe. There's got to be some sort of fluid nullifier that'll work, right? Is I don't want to get my fluids mixed up. So I'm going to need one more fluid filter right here. Oh, need a bucket. I love these fluid filters. This was such a nice addition to Ender IO. Right, so fluid filter and, I don't know, a nullifier. Yeah, hey, that'll work. What do I have? Like, nothing. Uh, is there any other way I could get the fluid out of there? I could drain it into... I could drain it into something. Oh, you know what? I know exactly. Duh, I know exactly how to do this. Hold on a second. Sometimes you got to use your brain. All right, so let's do this. Let's put this guy right here and that... And we'll go here, and we will just say extract. There we go. Yeah, see, sometimes just not thinking. All right, so now I could be able to select this guy and say insert. And now it's going to be lubricant. Woo! Almost did a silly. Right? Uh, lubricant? Hello? Okay, so bucket's not that one. All right, and then I can say insert. Right, and I don't need extract, and then if I come down there, then I can say extract and go ahead, and that should be the only place it could put it, is in here, or in here, and this guy's whitelisted, so that's all the lubricant I've got at the moment. Plenty of gasoline, plenty of diesel, so we'll make power out of that. All right, very cool. So let's go add this guy, because I'm pretty sure, I think this increases speed, right? I don't know if it does anything for yield, but it definitely does something for speed. So you can go right there, and that dude can go up there, and I think like that. And I know it works because it added these little lines to it. Very cool. So now I've got the bitumen, so now I can make all of the stuff that I need, right? So we can start making all of the uh, asphalt. Very cool. And I think we'll probably set up some generators. I don't know. What is a good use, right? I know the diesel, the diesel right here, right? We can burn in a compression dynamo, 800,000 RF a bucket, and we can make that better. And the gasoline, what can I do with you? 
Oh, I can put you in a combustion generator. Oh, we might do that. The advanced combustion generators are kind of nice. What are you? The mixer with aluminum makes <gasps> napalm. <laughs> All right. What are you looking at? All right. Let's go do the other thing. So did a lot of looking up about ender pearls, right? And I set these dudes in here for right now. I really think I need to build something for them. But I've got my ender pearls in here and, you know, growth is not amazing. So that was fixed by immersive. That's a change. And the change has probably been there for a little bit. I just haven't used this setup in a little while. So then my next reaction was, okay, well, I'll make Phytogrow, right? And uh, I guess we'll look at pearls. And, you know, so taking a look, man, there's a lot of ways. No, that's use, growth of pearls, right? So Ender Nuggets, Clathrate, uh, we got Ender Zoo Fragments. Now this, Ender Dust, I do need to mine the overworld. This doesn't happen in the deep dark. And I haven't wanted to mine the overworld because it's a server, right? But I'm probably going to have to. Now, I went over here and looked at the Phytogenic Insulator, and it's been nerfed. Right? Flex Phytogrow only makes one? Fine. Let me show you another way to make Ender Pearls. And this is the setup I wanted to show you that you're either going to hate it or you're going to love it. And I think it's genius. So, let's see. Coming right in here. Let me grab a little bit. Well, I guess I can put this other stuff away. I don't need you guys. Yeah. I got all this food on me. I keep trying to eat down all the random food that I get. All right. Fish sandwich. So let me take this and we'll kind of go through everything. Yeah, I got everything I need and I'll just set it out here. Hey, look at all this light. This will kind of work. Let's do this right out here. So alchemical chest from Project E, a very broken item. And I know exactly how it's broken and I'm going to use it for my advantage. So here's what I need. I need a block breaker. And you are on pulse, right? Yeah, deactivation. So you're on pulse. So you will only break when I tell you to break. And I'm going to want you to break this alchemical chest. And what we'll do here is we'll detect inventory from the chest with a comparator. And let's see. I'm going to take the signal out. And I'll make it a little stronger with a repeater, and then I'll bring it back around just like this. Now, this is a super broken item. So here's what happens. I'm going to open up this chest, and I'm going to put in this block of ender pearls. Oh, it has broken the chest. Well, let me get my block of ender pearls back. What? I still have them. How could that happen? And, oh. Where is, yep, now I need my alchemical chest. And you know, I probably could make this better with an auto placer as well, right? Just pipe it over to auto place. So if I put my seven blocks of ender pearls in here, what? Now I got 14 blocks of ender pearls. Yes, I know how to dupe items. <laughs> and it's not just limited to that. Hey, check out this rare mega loot case. What? You mean my two rare mega loot cases? Nice. And you know, I think I'm going to call it right there. I am the dupe master, dupe dupes a lot, the king of dupes town, the earl of dupesford. And I'm 47 Mark IV, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hey, drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about Dupe City, and I will see you in the next episode.